Gas Lampers, it's Dr. Serious here, your Professor of Pretendology at the University of Real Life. Here again in the world of Feed the Beast. And you catch me in my boiler room, uh, my little power generation building, and my uh, processing facility out of the main town. Um, this is where I do all my uh, my big processing jobs. There's a lot of big jobs going on here. Um, and keeping with the steampunk thing, we have a big gas steam boiler here, driving a uh, big steam turbine. So, steam. Steampunk. See? Not just a pretty face. So, what I'd like to show you today is a couple of things that are awesome in my mind, and neither of them have been done by me, which is the most important thing. Uh, as you know, uh, Ed has been seduced by the dark side and has joined us on the server, and now so has Cat. So our numbers are growing. <laughs> so what I'd like to do is head off into town and show you what's been happening in the village. Uh, this is my out of town processing facility, which is growing by leaps and bounds. We can handle a couple of uh, quarries of stuff coming in. Don't look at that, that's a secret project. Quick look. No. Hello, moonwalking sheep. Oh, and here comes the rain. So well, that's going to be really annoying, so let's turn the sound right now. There we go, we'll just have to make do with the... Uh, Minecraft does this fantastic job of making the rain feel really, really horrible. I mean, it's just like streaks on a screen, but you really don't want to go out in it. It is quite bizarre. Anywho, I'm running along our little uh, railway track, which we've extended out past the facility now. It now leads to the village that's on the other side of the, uh, the wasteland. So we've now got an Oh, yes, that's another thing. We have proper chuffer trains. Yeah, a little locomotive there, and we can have a train of carts. A little bit jerky, but it's a proper chuffer train. Chuffer, 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 chuffer. Oh, so here we are in the uh, village of awesomeness, little gas lamp itself. Now, I did actually do a video a couple of weeks ago of me pranking Ed and covering his... Uh, twin wizard towers in this pink wool. Unfortunately it kind of got spoiled when he came onto the server while I was right in the middle of it and there was some uh, unpleasantness so that didn't really work out as a joke uh, but uh, yeah he still has a big pink tower. Anyway um, so Kat's joined the server she's actually moved into Mark's house. Mark having moved out pretty much living under the sea in his underwater base. But uh, in addition to doing tarting this building up, she's actually built her, her own house. Again, in keeping with the, uh, the steampunk character, that was her first attempt. And here is the uh, pièce de résistance for this. The sandstone cafe. I'm just going to put the jetpack on and get a bit of an aerial view of this. Isn't that lovely? All the tables and the balcony there. Just imagine dining here on a <coughs> sunny summer's afternoon. Anywho, uh, yep, so that's that's Cat's build. Oh, she's also built a, a little um, refuge tower over by the spawn point. So you can just see it appearing now. So, new players, if you uh, arrive in the middle of the night for the first time and you're scared and lonely, you can either follow the road, again, another cat job here. She's been very busy. You can either follow the road into town or um, hole up in the refuge tower until daylight. And there's a bed in there you can sleep in and uh, some food and supplies. So, anyone who's thinking of joining the server, You'll arrive here 
and either follow the road or have a little break in the tower there. So anyway, that's um, that's Kat's work. I mean, she's only been on the server for a week, two weeks. Seems like forever, the amount of stuff she's done. Um, but that's one of the things I wanted to show you. Well, some of the things. The other thing is something I discovered while... Ouch. Little bumpy landing there. One of the things I discovered while clearing out a load of gravel from the cliff face next to my house. That's my little house. A little the worse for wear. But never mind. And this cave over here. This was all plugged up with gravel. Which doesn't look very nice. So I was going to sort of try and naturalise it a bit with some uh, landscaping details. But inside... Can you see this here? It's a bit dark. Those are bookcases. Well, it's, a, it's a standard uh, Minecraft block, normally found inside houses. Uh, what I think has happened, as you know if you watched the last video, this village was a, originally a native village that was generated in the middle of the lake. And I think one of the buildings actually generated inside this mountain or possibly the building was generated and then the mountain was generated on top of it either way we've basically got a buried building and I've not actually exc excavated any further because who knows what treasures might be down there there could be a chest with some stuff in there might even be people trapped in there who knows <laughs> some lost villages we could repopulate the village um, now this is an example of what I think sets Minecraft apart. Let's say you were playing a game like Skyrim. And you go to a little village on a river. And it's all very pretty and perfect. And there's a dungeon nearby. And you go down the dungeon and you find something in the dungeon. All of that has been put there by one of the game designers. Someone has come along and designed that area and said, we'll put that building there, that building there, dungeon there, and we'll put that thing in the dungeon. Minecraft, none of that. This is all generated automatically by the program. And I need to go and sleep because it's getting dark. Uh, and you still get the cool stuff appearing through the combinations of blind chance. Just gonna nip in here and uh, sleep. Let's make it daytime again. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is my little canned food shop. Yes, I'm now uh, selling canned food in the village. Uh, yeah. So, Minecraft. It's all emergent gameplay. Nothing scripted, nothing set up, nothing designed. The people who wrote the game have given us the tools. The random generation of the world. The, the toys to play with. You get good stories and cool things coming out of that naturally. Nothing's forced. Nothing is scripted. I just think that's really cool. Uh... It means the game's more ours. We're making the game fun. It's not just what some designer has said. Do this, do that, do that. Get these points. I don't know. Be interested to know what you think. Uh, so, we're growing. The village is definitely growing. We've expanded the roads a little, so we could expand we've got some room for more plots over the water uh, there's other things going on behind the scenes which i'm not going to bore you with sort of technical stuff like power generation and what details of my processing plants uh, or even the secret project um, but there's room to come on here build if you want go caving 
collect bees. There's my little bee farm over there. Uh, the world, the virtual world is your oyster here. Uh, if you fancy giving it a go, you know the drill, drop me a PM. I'll steer you on what you need to get downloaded and the address to connect to the server. Uh, we're getting so more and more people trying. We've got four regulars now and a couple of people nibbling. You know who you are. I've even got somebody subscribed to my YouTube channel, which is a bizarre thing, considering I've only got these private videos that are just for us. I don't know who's, uh, who's subscribing. I know Ed's, Ed's subscribed, but, you know, someone else has. I don't, don't understand that. But anyway, um, thank you, whoever you are. Uh, Mr. Tallyho80, was it? Or Miss, Miss Tallyho80, I don't know. Um, Come and join us. It's great fun on here. Emergent gameplay, emergent storytelling, cool designs, and you know what? The cake is not a lie. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.